welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa. I hope everyone's doing well and things have been going great with the whole COVID going on. I know it's starting to get worse again, so let's keep positivity going. But let's get right into this video. Jose and his son John flew down from New Jersey. I picked them up from the airport. I was super excited to see them. We went to the beach that day. It's been pretty cloudy out in Florida and raining every day, which usually in the summer we do get a lot of rain. But it usually like rains mid-afternoon and then it stops and then, you know, the sun comes back out. It's been crazy cloudy every single day. The beaches, who wants to go to the beach and there's no sun? It's not much fun. It was still pretty cool though. We went out to Siesta Keys. The waves were quite much bigger than I'm used to. <laughs> um, lately, we haven't been going to the beach or doing stuff like that because red tide has been pretty bad out in Florida, which if you don't know what that is, it's a bacteria in the water. That ends up killing tons of fish, which is really kind of sucks, you know? So I am super proud of both my boys. They both graduated this year in June. Now there was two different graduations because Ethan was going to an online school and Max was actually in online school as well, but through his high school. Now I've mentioned this before, and if you follow Omar, he's mentioned it before. I am not Ethan's biological mom. I'm his stepmom. Doesn't mean I'm not his mom, I'm still his mom. Um, so you're gonna see in his grad video that his mom and grandparents were there. Now there was a limited of tickets. You only got four tickets, but when we got there, they weren't even checking tickets. So Tiffany ended up coming up, Max, Jose, and John came up as well. We all got to watch him graduate. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Then the following week, Max graduated. Now his was a little different. He had four tickets, they did check them. Um, Tiffany and my mom went to this one. Me and his dad got to sit um, next to him on the field. It was a little bit, I wanna say disorganized because usually graduations, you know, they go by last name, it's pretty organized. They actually went row by row and you just gave them a card with your name on it and they called it. They did have it where you could watch it online. So I gave it to out some family members that couldn't be there to watch him walk. So my kid was the only kid wearing Crocs. Graduation, he had on white Crocs and as he went up to go, they almost weren't gonna let him walk because they told him he couldn't have Crocs on, but come on, it's your last day, who cares? Excellent. Come on, squirrel, uh, a, a squirrel sandwich. Uh -oh. Did it. Now I'm going to go on a rewind really quick. So each graduation has a Victorian validate, whatever she's called, you know, the person that does really well and does a speech beforehand. It was starting to look like it was gonna rain. So they told her she couldn't do her whole entire speech, but she didn't care and she did it anyway. And even got the crowd screaming, let her speak, let her speak. So she did her speech. And at the end of it, I couldn't believe what she said. My mouth dropped to the floor. I was just like, what? And I wasn't recording it, but I got a clip of it and I'm gonna show it to you right now. Now I'm going to warn you guys, there is a cuss word in it. So if you don't wanna watch this, you know, please fast forward and don't watch it, but here it is. And take the time to connect and form relationships with your students because your care or lack thereof can leave a lifelong impression on them. And Ms. Barbara, fuck you. <laughs> Then the next day, we threw a little grad party for the boys. It was nothing big. It was really nice to get together with the family, though, and celebrate, you know, them graduating. It's hard going to school, especially nowadays. Like, when we were in school, kindergarten, we took naps. And you know, these kids are learning math, all kinds of stuff in kindergarten. They don't take naps anymore, which is good because, obviously, it expands their mind and makes them much smarter. But it's a lot different. I'm very proud of them. They worked really hard. They got, you know, to make it to the end. And now we have to see what the future holds for them. June 15th is Jose's birthday. He turned 40 years old. We threw a small get together at the house with me and the kids. We had cake, some food. Um, we had a couple drinks. It was nice, nothing big, nothing crazy, but it was a nice time to celebrate, you know, everybody. I think everybody deserves to celebrate their birthday. I know some people don't care, but it's a day that you were born and we should all, you know, appreciate that. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So on Father's Day, Jose, John, Max and I went on a dolphin cruise. I've been on this cruise before, I've showed it to you. Um, so I'm not gonna get into much detail. It was 
it was an okay day out. The weather's been, like I said, pretty sucky in Florida, which is kind of weird. I think all over the weather's changing in different states and just with the whole climate change. After that, we came home, you know, everybody showered, got ready, and I went to go see my dad for Father's Day. When I got there, my brother Russell was there, which was cool. All the kids showed up. My dad was like super excited to see everyone. It meant a lot to him. So Max has been bowling a lot to the point where he got his own bowling ball because he's like in love with bowling. So one night we all went out together. I want to say it was a Friday night. They do like they turn the lights down and it's like really cool. It was Jose, Max, John, Malia. Ethan was at work and Tyler and their friends came. It was, it was a lot of fun. We played, you get to play all night. Um, I want to say it's like 12 bucks a person and then you get to play as many games as you want until I want to say 1 a.m. in the morning. Off to the side of the bowling alley, they actually have this place where it's a bar, you can drink and it's five bucks to get in. You don't have to pay five bucks to drink, but you know, it's five bucks. They play music. It was a uh, really cool. Everybody was like, people were dancing. It was loud. It was definitely different seeing a bowling alley with a little nightclub in it. <laughs> around for a little bit and we got his ears pierced and I'm going to show you that. He actually did amazing. Didn't even, didn't even, you know, any facial expression. Just took it like a man. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not aware, I am starting a Paranormal Tuesday. I put my one out just last Tuesday. If you didn't watch it, the link will be right here. Check it out. It's really cool. I got amazing EVPs. An EVP that even came through the phone as I was recording. I didn't know about it until I watched it back. Check that video out and stay tuned for those. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you follow me on social media. I even have TikTok. Give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.